everyone, I'm Erica Roberts at Willingham and Sons Building Supply. I'm going to teach you how to rescreen a screen today, so stay tuned. All right, there are five easy steps to replace your screen. You're going to pull the spline out, pull the old screen out, and then cut your new screen and replace your spline, and then you will have to cut the excess. You're going to need a few tools to replace your screen. You'll need a razor blade, a screwdriver, and a screen tool and we sell these at our store. All right, so I'm gonna start removing the spline now. And you just take your time and remove it all the way around. Be as easy as possible, because if you don't break your spline, you can reuse your spline. If you do break it though, you can pick up new spline here at our store also. We sell it by the foot. All right. So that's that step. Then you're just going to pop your old screen out. And I'm always gentle with it because you don't want to leave excess screen down in there. If you do, you can just use a screwdriver to remove it. Now you're going to get your roll of screen out. And we also sell the screen here at the store. And we sell it by the foot also or by the roll. And we have different sizes and length here also. Then you just want to cut it. Always cut it a little bit further. You don't want to be too tight with it when you're replacing your spline. And then I didn't tear the spline, so I am going to reuse it on this one. And that is where your screen tool comes into play. Actually, you just very easily push down and roll it into the screen. Then you're going to need your screwdriver just to make your corner. Then you just keep rolling all the way around. Whenever you get to the side, once you get this side and you get this side, when you're on the last two, you want to try and put your hand on it and hold it steady so you get some of the lumps out of it. Sometimes that's a little easier said than done, but you can always take it apart and do it again. At the end, you're going to have some extra spline. That's normal because it does, it is rubber. It does stretch as you're pushing it back in. So you just want to cut it off at the end. Take your screwdriver, just make sure that's down in there good. And then take your razor blade knife, cut the excess. Always be careful though, because you might slip and cut your screen. And here's your finished screen, and you can get all the tools and supplies that you need at Willingham & Sons Building Supply at 6807 South Carolina Highway 219 in Newberry, or call us at 803-276-1257. Thanks for watching.